Hey y'all, it's your girl Shay Shay back with another video. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Ashley. Thank you so much for clicking on this video. As you can see by the title of this video, this is going to be a drugstore skincare routine. As you can see, my skin is pretty clear and I use very cheap drugstore products to achieve clear skin. There is no reason to go out here paying hundreds of dollars on skincare products when there are cheap drugstore products that will work just fine for your skin. Obviously, you need to find what works for your skin, but I really do hope this video helps you out. I hope it clears your skin and I hope that these products make you feel more confident if you decide to use them. Before we get into the video, please make sure you give this video a thumbs up and also subscribe down below because it really helps out my channel. I'm trying to get to 200 subscribers and I would really love to reach my goal. So without further ado, let's get into the video. Okay y'all, I just got out the shower. That's why I have on a different shirt and I also have on my shower cap and my headscarf. I will be keeping this on to wash my face because I'm not trying to get my hair wet. So this is something that I like to do when I wash my face. So the first product I like to use is this CeraVe Foaming Facial Cleanser. This is for normal to oily skin. You can get this at Walmart for very cheap. It lasts a really long time and I feel like it is really good for normal to oily skin because that is the type of skin that I have this stuff works amazingly ever since I started using this I don't really get any bumps or pimples I know that it's also developed with dermatologists and a lot of people do recommend this this stuff is the truth I actually know people in my daily life that use this stuff and I really do stand by it because I feel like it really works for my skin as well I also use this little facial brush I got this from Amazon and I will link it down below it's like a dupe of that little Foreo cleanser that thing is like a hundred plus dollars this was ten so I will link this down below because there's no reason to spend $100 on a little facial brush that you can literally get for $10. So I will be washing my face with these two. I do like to wet this little brush in between because as you can see it's getting a little dry. I do like to add a little bit more water to this before I like finish. Next thing I do is dry my face off with this white towel. For some reason, I only like to use white towels to dry my face. I don't know, maybe it's because I wanna see if there's any dirt left, but I only use a white towel. And I make sure to just pat this. I do not rub this across my face, I only pat it. Next thing I'm going to do is take this witch hazel. This brand is about $3. I really like it because it's pretty much witch hazel and alcohol. It really does tone my face and give me an even skin tone and also it was $3. You cannot beat that. That is super cheap and it's very effective. I also use these reusable cotton pads. I get these on Amazon as well. I will link them down below. Now, one thing about these is they are a bit pricey, but you can reuse them over and over again pretty much forever because you put these in the washing machine and you can reuse them. I will insert the price over here. If you think about it in the long run, buying disposable cotton pads is harmful for the environment and also in the long run you're spending more money because you can reuse these over and over again pretty much for a lifetime. You just need to wash them after each use. I also like to take my witch hazel behind my ears because you'll be surprised how dirty it is behind your ears. I am a bit extra so I do use a fan to dry my witch hazel. This is completely unnecessary but if anybody does want it I will link it down below of course. Also got this from Amazon. The last thing I use is the CeraVe Daily Moisturizing Lotion. This is for normal to dry skin. I know that the other one is for like normal to oily skin, but I feel like this combination just works really well. It is dermatologist recommended, and a lot of people do use this and it clears up their acne. It also gives me really nice and clear skin. My skin is moisturized throughout the day. Only downside I would say is that it doesn't have SPF, so you may wanna look for a moisturizer that has SPF in it as well. Alright, that concludes my skincare routine. 
I really love these three products because they're very simple, they're cheap, and they can be found in your local drugstore, so they're pretty much accessible to everyone on this platform because anybody can go up to the drugstore and buy these products for very affordable prices. But something I do want to say before I end this video, I feel like the health of your skin really comes from your diet. So you need to be drinking a lot of water, eating a healthy balanced diet, and also something that's really important is not touching your face throughout the day because you have a lot of bacteria on your hands, you're touching your phone, you're touching doorknobs, you're touching a lot of things, and touching your face can transfer a lot of bacteria. You need to be changing your pillowcase once a week. You can change it more frequently if you have like severe acne problems and it's not working with changing once a week. Honestly, you have to do what works for you and you need to make your skincare routine personable to you. This is what works for my skin and it may not work for you, but it is what works for me and what gives me clear skin. So I thought that I would share it with you all. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you found it helpful in any way, please give this video a thumbs up and also subscribe down below because it really helps my channel. I'll see you in the next video. Bye. Did it with you